All right, and we're back. So, last time we went to the current capital of the Angara and explored a little bit. And we're about to check out their vault. Having earned the right to visit after all of the episodes of the past few months. So, we basically finished exploring the city. Now it's time to hit our take a take our trip over. Oh, this thing can go into stellar if it needs to. Okay. Neat. Party members. No. I haven't brought anyone here in over 20 years. There's always been an active display for Aya, but we could never affect it. Let's see what we can do. Sam? Similar to the vault on Eos. Tell me, what are you seeing? If I'm seeing what I think I'm seeing, I've got goosebumps. Tell me, what do you see? The vaults. They're a network, as you discovered. However, they're not connected to each other, but to this, this is the place. central hub to the vault. This image was on a relic the Archon showed me. He called it Meridian. And it looks like Aya's vault is the only one that's fully connected to it. And it's terraforming, doing what it was meant to do. The vault on Eos is also present, but changed. Our interfacing with it has affected its connection. What do you think, Professor? I think that Meridian is the control center for all the vaults. Which means if we can get to Meridian, we can make all of the affected vault, connected vaults habitable. However, if the Ket were able to get into Meridian and interface with it, then they could render basically their entire cluster uninhabitable. This discovery might just change everything. If we can get to Meridian, maybe we can turn everything on from there. Make Helios live. Wait, Ryder. The Archon knows where it is. He's already been there. What? Where? Meridian? Of course. That's why he tortured me. He thought I could help him use it. Because he can't. Meridian is my people's best chance for survival. We have to take He's it from him. Agreed. Such power in the hands of such evil could mean the end of your people and mine. No one is safe as long as he's on this hunt. I'm going to shut it down. For all our sakes. We're going to need that relic I saw. The Resistance might have intel on the whereabouts of Archon's ship. I'll talk to Ephra and secure his full cooperation. Meet me All there. Alright. I kind of wish we could have PB in here for this because it'd be interesting as the person who's been studying the Remnant long, about as long as us, Drew, or longer, provides some great feedback.
point. Okay, I think I'll see your Nexus. Ultra Exchange. BC's cat. Archon! Okay. Okay, so that's neat. So basically doing those side quests earlier build up filled up more entries in the uh, um, codex. Pretty in terraforming. Fast travel experience at headquarters. So, when you get the assistance from the resistance to attack Meridian, we may also have to persuade the um, cat separatists, basically. Get the separatists, the. Um, um, I guess Angaran Separatists, the um the Rail Car. You have to save the Rail Car to help assist us or at least not be an obstacle in this. I deserve to be told. You had no right to keep it secret from me. It's an ongoing investigation. I meant no disrespect. Did Jal know? Of course not. Neither did the human. Know what? I could have kept Sam to myself, you know. This is different. Not your business. It is now. We need to find the Ket command ship. Tell her the truth about my capture. Moshai, please. It may be our only route to the Archon. One of my men helped the Ket take her. A resistance commander named Venterev. What? Why? One of your own gave her to the Archon? No wonder you hushed it up. This isn't about hiding the truth. I'm working to capture him. Make him answer for what he did. You know where he is? Kadar report. My contacts are hunting him. Contacts? You can't trust anyone there. They deserted our cause, our people. And now they're ruled by exiles, from your galaxy. Ven may know how to find the Archon, and his ship. We can't leave this to a pack of renegades and outlaws. I'm a little new to the galaxy. Where did Ven go, exactly? Kadara Port is a trading outpost. 
We abandoned it when the Kettle our outcast came. Some of us went back. Deserters. Scavengers. They don't support Aya. How did exiles from the Nexus wind up there? Bad luck for everyone. But it kind of actually makes sense. The ne the exiles have to go somewhere. Otherwise, it's basically a death sentence. Which is kind of certainly what it is, but it's a... It's a weirdly resource-intensive death sentence as opposed to just kicking someone out in airlock. Because by exiling someone, you have to provide a way for them to get someplace. So, that. Um... And they showed up with their tech and tried to make themselves king of the hill. It may have done so, it sounds like. I need the relic that leads to Meridian, and I can handle my people. Let me do this. I don't like it. I don't care. <laughs> the Pathfinder is right. I'll transmit my files on Kadara port to your Thank ship. Thank you. Our traitor could have useful information. We need him alive. That's up to him. Be safe, Pathfinder. As for you, Ephra, we're not done. We are going to have a very long talk. And you are in so much trouble. Level up. Oh, my guns. Let's drop the rifle weight. So combat and biotics is what I want to put, put my points in to be to do um, Vanguard. Okay, so melee attacks and restore, restore shields, in addition to my current melee weapon, which also restores or deals um, melee damage. Go to tech for a second. I think I'll probably do for my next big one is put some points in Remnant VI. I don't like um, the flamethrower. Do Remnant VI. Overload. I like long range attacks in general, so I'd probably do like reason why I why I when I Unlock the third slot, I stuck a sniper rifle on there. We'll do Overload, Remnant VI, and then we'll head to Points Tactical Cloak. Combat, um... Either that or Barricade. Barricade. We'll do the combination um, combat and oh, Omni Grenade. Omni Grenade. Uh, we'll see. Image.
Okay, so. Port system. Like all my side quests right now are Kadara. Anything else is currently on heart on hold. That's Oh, hey, shop over here. Pick up that one more quest before I head out. Here, it looks like. It's a functioning door? Yes, it is. Here you are. When Pathfinder, this is a tremendous honor. Thank you. I must express my admiration for all you've done. Crossing the void between galaxies. Navigating the Scourge to find Aya? Incredible. The odds were against us, that's for sure. Yet here we are. Strangers from different galaxies conversing in friendship. Translator microbes help. I am Mariko Darej, Chief Voneron. A Voneron? That's very... I don't know what. Ah. Linguistics. Not my strength. I am a Celestial Observer. Charting the movements of stars, planets, and... Astronomer. Scourge. An astronomer. You know the safe routes out there? We deploy satellites that alert us to new hazards and opportunities. But we've lost contact with several key observers. They've simply stopped. I sent a vessel to scan their last known locations, but nothing's been found. Your Tempest is highly advanced. I hoped you could aid our... Gladly. Search. Even Pathfinders need a good map. I'll look into it. I knew you'd understand. I'll provide search nav points. And when I can finally reconcile our charts with fresh satellite data, I'll gladly share that all we be, have. That would be great for the, uh... Citadel. <laughs> Mark cases of booze, cask dates unknown. I'm going to have to check these for quality, do some quality control of these to make sure that they are still in good shape. You understand, for professional reasons. Those actually finding these probes is kind of a big deal because it gives the Cid the Nexus some really useful data for charting safe shipping routes. Director Tan, good news. The Angara opened an embassy for us on Aya. That is a surprise. What are their expectations? They survived the Scourge and the Cat and rebuilt their civilization. Don't forget it. Appeal to their pride. Sensible. I will gather envoys and send them to Aya. Thank you, Pathfinder. We'll take it from here. All right. 
not so much appeal their pride as much as be respectful. Like, why can't you just ask her yourself? Because, because, just because. Fine, Lexi. PB wants to look at Jal scans. PB knows I can't divulge patient information. <sighs> Useless. We were right about the vault on Aya, huh? What a find. And this Meridian vault might jumpstart all the others. I knew hitching my wagon to yours would pay off. I like you it hitch you my, You can hitch my, your wagon to mine to anytime. Have I flirted with you? <laughs> Don't worry, Ryder. I'm relentless. It relaxes me. Glad you can hitch your wagon to me anytime. So what's your take? Is this Meridian what we think it is? Everything we've seen, each remnant system we've uncovered, is connected to everything else. The bots, the monoliths, the vaults. It stands to reason that activating Meridian will connect the entire network and rekindle terraforming across the cluster. So you think we're doing the right thing? Well, yeah. All right, and we just need to make sure that when we do it, that we're the ones doing it so we can properly calibrate this so it helps us and not, say, the cat. Let's screw those guys. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Anything new to chat about? Ryder. Ah. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Alright, so I've been using the Nexus the Strike Team app on my phone. So... We got a bunch of these. Oh, we're not even close to being able to handle that. Right, and we have all our loot boxes. Our resources. Tons of research data. Ooh, new gun. Okay. Alright, um, where is... Let's talk to Jaw real quick. You have new Thank email you. at your terminal, Pathfinder. Talk to Jaw real quick. much to say about that facility on Volv? There will be. But maybe not right now. I get you, pal. Inane chatter about nothing coming up. There's always more to say and to learn, isn't there? Do you have a mate? A partner? I don't. Not for a long time. Not for a long time. <laughs> I fell in love with a girl once. Alia. We were young. <laughs> I was young. 
It was my first vassal on Aya. We worked on the same farm. She was a little older, a researcher. I can still hear her laugh and see her eyes. She kissed me and I was hers, thrilled and seduced. I have a bad feeling about this. My older brother came to Aya. He was already famous in the Resistance. Uh-huh. Where is Aaliyah now? Did she and your brother work out? They came back to Haval, and she joined our family. She became one of the mothers. You have to see her every day? No. They were taken by the kit. Their children survived. Oh, that's awkward. I'm not, not going to romance you. I've kind of figured out, figured out what direction my character is going. Well, enough yeah. about that. <laughs> can I ask you a few more questions? Of course. If I can answer them, I will. Can you tell me about your family? Um, I already know about uh, one. Assuming you have a one. Brother. Sit down. This will take time. Is someone bringing <laughs> us snacks and drinks? Whoa, your family's that big? I have one true mother. Sauna. And more than five additional mothers. And many, many, many siblings. <laughs> and cousins. All raised uh -huh. together. Our families constantly change and evolve. Relationships come and they go. My father is gone. Taken. Or killed. By the kit. We never found his body. I'm sorry about that, Jal. I understand. I just lost my dad. <laughs> Something in common between aliens, then. We are fatherless. Yet we fight on. Anything else you want to ask? Uh, let's keep going with the uh, development for Jal. Did you always want to be a fighter? Did you study anything particular in school? I... <laughs> no. I don't like to talk about it. But I'm not a fighter. Not I made really. it an interpretive dance. The Ket occupation creates chaos. So our education is chaotic. <laughs> I'm not really anything. But that's an excuse. The truth is, I don't know what I want yet for my life at my age. I hope being here will inspire me. That's a nice to know about. Do Angara plan their futures? Do you dream about what you want to accomplish? That's actually what you want to question. <laughs> you put plan and dream in the same question. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. You meant to do that. Angara thirst for now. We don't strive to make the future better. We strive because the present is that is an interesting philosophical worldview. Well, enough about that. I'll see you later, Jal. Stay strong and clear. That's a, a a different form of live for today. I don't think of a live to the de live for today philosophy. We think of not planning ahead and a degree of hedonism and not giving a crap, but taken in the context of. Ang of um, Angaran society, it's still focused on self-improvement, but in a very different manner. Pathfinder, sorry if things got strange last time we talked. You're the first person I told about all that. It um felt really good. I know it was really personal. Thank you for trusting me with it. You say that like I was making logical choices. Thanks for getting it. Anyway, made me think we should do more just out and about. Off ship, like the market on Aya. I've got some contacts and some things I'd like your eyes on, but mostly it's a day out, something familiar. Turns out I need that. Oh.
hey, nice of them to put this in the game. Um, and this is a good place to put that because this is a place where the characters we undergoing some traumatic and whammy stuff, particularly Jal. And this is stuff that probably most people playing the game probably would appreciate seeing or um, having pa passed along to them. So that's nice. All right, my, I'm getting really damn close to that item limit. Um... Let's look at my inventory real quick. So, I got a bunch of new guns and mods and crap. Armor. I don't like the cat armor stuff. Assault rifle. Currently using the Matic 4. These are all common. Oh, oh this one's rare. These two are rare. Um, okay, damage drop compared to the Maddock. Greatly increased clip size, ammo, and rate of fire. Significant ammo. I think we accuracy drop. Zalkin is definitely going to get taken down for torn up for scrap. The Matic I've crafted, but I haven't upgraded one, so... Avenger... Oh, nope. And Storm 4... Damage boost, significant rate of fire, clip size... Accuracy's not too bad. Clip size is crap. Like the Matok, small clip size, it's basically single shot, but it's works well enough. I might stick some stuff on that see if I can up the accuracy. Cyclone five. Max clip size, max um it actually has better accuracy than the revenant. Damage drops. Drops. Button. Mm. Damage lower. Weight is high. More ammo. No, actually, lower max ammo. Um, or it's actually better in pretty much every respect. The weight is higher, but I can. Might just go to the mods on that. Rana. So, and I got two of the katanas, and they're just statistically identical. So, I'll just one of those. Wow, the Rigar carbine, except for the damage. The damage is awful. Like, absolute crap. Like, super high accuracy. Like, 
compared to everything else, the, the damage is abysmal. 71 damage. That has to be a misprint. Why would you use this gun? Um... Dawn 4, I might use. Don't like the ammo, the reduced ammo quantity. I think I'll stick with the piranha. Melee. Rogan Hammer. That's actually more damage than my pet sword. Pistol mods. Getting new sniper rifles and all of this. All right, other characters to talk to. Um. Talk to Lexi and. Oh, hey! Cutscene! Ah, oh, Ryder. Sorry for the mess. Who's your friend? An exalted cat. I called Jarl to show him. Ah, oh, there he is. Jarl, look at this. There's nothing Angara inside. The physical can be deceiving. I've run hundreds of tests, only traces of the Angara genome remain. The Exalted are Ket. There must be a way to fix them. Uh, if... These are upper le... I don't know. These are upper level, um, Ket. We need to be prepared that there might not be. Jarl, remember what we talked about? <sighs> that we should examine the problem objectively? <sighs> Excuse me. Grief is never easy, but Jarl needs to accept that exaltation is permanent. Hope is good, but false hope is unhealthy. I appreciate your support. Jarl is part of this crew. His welfare is my responsibility. Doing a good job. I know this job was a surprise, but you've really stepped up. And look, you got your cat sample. Their bodies are unlike anything I've seen. Centuries of gene stealing, crafted evolution. It's horrible, of course, but also fascinating. Glad you're settling in. Sink or swim, right? <sighs> I should probably clean this up before it starts to smell. I think next room over is where... Read the Dra mission Dracus. briefs. This isn't good, Ryder. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. He's definitely dangerous. So dangerous, I'm not sure we're ready to deal with him. Take him out. All we need is Extreme a plan. Stream close up for From Drac. where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the cat do, it turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to, take the collateral damage. I'm more a surgical strike kind of gal. There's better ways to stop him than brute force. Maybe, 
But I'm not gonna let an enemy get close enough to pry my plates open and go for the soft kill. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly each and every time. Another galaxy, and there are still despots. We saw similar types back when I worked as a peacekeeper. Pirates attacking the colonies. We trained the colonists and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon, he's got an army to back up his crazy. But I've got you, and everyone else on board. Huh. True enough. Never underestimate a small, capable strike force. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. <sighs> we'll only get one real chance at it, won't we? Yep. So when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. I think I'm going to email access in here. It's to do. Alright, so I'm like doing small... We can take out the Archon to Surgical Strike. As opposed to Brute Force Massive Ignorance. Right. <laughs> All right. I can head back to Aya because we have loyalty mission stuff. Loyalty missions. At least we managed to save the Moshai. I only wish we could have saved more. The swelling has gone down significantly. And I seem to be able to talk normally again. Good. Keep me updated. And remember, cool food and liquid only. Nothing spicy. Thank you, Lexi. Allergic reaction? Is there something wrong? Did you hurt yourself? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just getting over some inflammation of the soft tissues of the mouth. It was dramatic, but ultimately non-threatening. I... What? Have you ever heard of the lick test? Back before scanners were portable, Earth scientists would employ this test that in the field. That sounds dangerous and stupid. They used it to tell rocks from fossils and get a basic idea of their mineral composition. You licked something and had an allergic reaction. <laughs> you licked a rock, didn't you? <sighs> I was distracted and forgot it was a Helios rock. I do it unconsciously. When I was little, my father and I would go on expeditions. The lick test was a huge part of it. He made science fun for me. Your mother was something That's of a scientist, wasn't she? That's a good way she? to get all sorts of nasty crap. In fact, I mean... 
They probably stopped doing the lick test a long time ago for very good reasons. I went to stop and do a quick Google search to check on this. Yeah, um, the general, the general, <laughs> here is, the last resort, you don't do this as like a first choice, do this as the last resort, and again, you're doing this on fossils, also, to chest to see if a rock is a fossil, not if it is just, you know, a rock rock, or tell what kind of rock it is. <sighs> she specialized in biotics research, got her start in medicine. I read all about her research, and your father's. AI and implants, they achieved so much in so little time. Sam is an astounding achievement. I left my parents back home. They told me they were proud of me, and then lived out their lives while I slept. If I were them, I'd be proud too. You came here for the sake of science. That takes courage. Some crazy, but mostly courage. I'm sure they knew that. <laughs> Thank you, Raider. I needed that. Anytime. Alright. Actually, let's save the mission, the, the stuff on Aya. Till we do a couple other side missions first.